what is up everyone welcome back to the channel i have a very special video for everyone today and um in this video i'm going to be covering of course the confirmed characters that we know 100 percent for certain i'm also going to be covering some really cool fan theories that i've come across as i've been watching some other mk11 uh youtube videos uh and i thought they were actually worth uh, sharing in, an, in my own video uh, just to uh, get these ideas out to you guys and see what you guys think about them as well because I thought some of them were really clever. Um, but before I get started, I want to go ahead and call your attention to this image of Shao Kahn. This is the latest image of Shao Kahn that we've received from Netherrealm Studios. Um, I believe they decided to release this as just a little something or other for us to kind of hold on to and tide us over until we actually get to the, uh, the mega reveal event that's coming up on January the 17th. So mark your calendars if you... Um, did not know about the specific date of that. It's going to be on January 17th. So we have about 10 days to wait for that. But in this um, image, he basically still looks like how he did in the trailer, except um, he, certain gear pieces are a little different. Like his helmet is actually gold. Um, and what's interesting about it is that um, his arm suggests that he possibly could have fused with something or someone um because we all know Shao Kahn for the most part has had a human appearance but for some reason now his arm seems to have fused with some other element or some other creature to where he now seems to be you know a human fused with some some sort of reptilian animal type dragon type situation so i don't know exactly uh, how that's going to play itself out uh, in Mortal Kombat 11, how that's going to be explained. Um, and I'm still wondering if the Shao Kahn that we're seeing, if this is actually um, uh, a Shao Kahn from a different timeline who's coming into play, um, perhaps that would explain why he looks like he's been fused or like he's merged with something because he's actually a Shao Kahn from a different timeline where something else happened to him outside of the timeline we're familiar with. Um, and or you know maybe maybe netherum decided to give him a design that made him just look more appealing um and to possibly help boost sales for the pre-order bonus because he does look really really intriguing the way um the way he is with um this kind of fused you know you know reptile dragon type uh, element you know with him I, I'm wondering exactly how he got that way or what was going to be his backstory with that all right guys so let's go ahead and um, go into the first part of the video actually I guess this is the second part of the video but the confirmed characters so this is you know this is not the most important I mean most interesting part of the video because we already know who's confirmed Scorpion is confirmed um, Radiance confirmed Shao Kahn is confirmed and the mystery woman is confirmed but the one thing about this part of the video that I think makes it intriguing is the fact that, and this is perhaps my own personal theory before I get to the fan theories, but this is something I was thinking about, which is um, so many people have been drawing so many conclusions saying that the mystery woman is connected to Jade or that she's the same woman in Jade's ending from Mortal Kombat 9. And, you know, and I thought the thought crossed my mind that this it would be so hilarious if it actually turns out that the mystery woman that we've been watching in this trailer all this time has actually been jade um you know i think everyone's kind of been talking around it saying that you know even including myself in my own videos i've been saying oh this is some you know elder god lady or some guide or some you know whatever but it would be really funny if some something so obvious kind of escaped everybody <laughs> and this actually turns out to be jade because i you know it does seem like uh, Netherrealm kind of picks and chooses what they want to run with. Uh, I didn't really, uh, con I didn't really make any sort of connection that her Mortal Kombat 9 ending, Jade's ending in Mortal Kombat 9, was canon. So I wasn't ex expecting that woman from her ending to return. But at the end of her ending, um, the woman does possess Jade. And another thing that is worth noting is the fact that if you notice the color of the woman, she kind of has like gold and th and whatnot but if you look at the lower part of her garments it is actually green her her outfit is actually green and so and i was you know and some you know i, I understand some people might be like oh well that's a, a, that's kind of a loose reference really really loose and yeah i understand that but since we are since this video is kind of t discussing fan theories of sorts i just wanted to throw that out there because i think it would be interesting you know we have these four confirmed characters so far shao khan Raiden, Scorpion, and then everyone's getting worked up about the Mystery Woman, and it would be just shocking to discover that that was actually Jade being possessed by the the that woman from her dreams. 
from her whatever you know and it was actually jade and this would also explain perhaps why katana had her weapons in mortal kombat 10 because if jade has been possessed um then then it almost would make sense for someone else to take up her weapons and fight on her behalf because now jade herself as a character would probably have a different move set given that something has taken over her so um so and it also goes it also does explain why katana's uh variation was called mournful because that would mean that um she was mournful over the loss of her friend because something had taken over jade and jade was no longer there to actually use her own weapons anymore so it would be really interesting to see that i mean like i said this is theory i'm not trying to throw anything out there into the spectrum like i know what i'm like i'm all of this is 100 percent accurate but i just thought that would that would be a, a crazy flip a crazy twist if if all along we were actually seeing this mysterious woman and all along it was actually jade you know who has actually been taken over anyways okay guys so let's go ahead and move on to um the fan theories now guys um i want to bring up some of these fan theories i don't necessarily 100 percent agree with them but i thought they were clever enough for me to actually share in this video so um the first fan theory that i want to share with you guys was someone in their video introduced the idea that perhaps the reason why there were two scorpions was because um by by mortal kombat 11 Takeda has become the new scorpion so the first scorpion that we see raiden fighting is actually a uh, Takeda fighting against Raiden and of course you know I guess you know he loses to Raiden and then Raiden turns around and then the real scorpion steps up and then destroys Raiden and I just thought that was a really interesting twist because in a way Takeda even though Takeda is uh um what's his face his son I'm sorry I'm blanking out on his name right now um what's his name uh, uh Kenshi I'm sorry Kenshi he, even though he's Kenshi's son but Takeda kind of owes more allegiance to to scorpion because scorpion is the one who taught him so scorpion in in some in in a sense is actually kind of more of a father figure in terms of the storyline for mortal kombat x since he actually has been trained in the way of Sh shirai ryu so i thought that it would be very very interesting to see takeda actually take up the mantle of scorpion or take up the uh the you know the position of being the the futuristic scorpion and you know fighting on scorpion's behalf in a sense but then you know because of the timelines or something distorting the timelines or whatever you know takeda is, is is killed and then all of a sudden now the real scorpion the original scorpion returns and destroys raiden so um so but that was someone's fan theory that was, so so i'm just offering that just as one of their theories out there in the fan universe so the second theory i thought was worth mentioning was the fact that someone mentioned that they thought that perhaps um uh, Shao Kahn the new Shao Kahn is actually Reiko and I thought this was really good guys if y'all are a fan of my channel you will know I've done videos about how I honestly wanted Reiko to come back as the son of Shao Kahn because I still feel like Reiko has a close connection to Shao Kahn and he was the general of his army and there was an unexplained um there was an unexplained ending that he had I think in Mortal Kombat Four, where his ending showed him sitting on a throne and and the image of Shao Kahn's helmet appears over his head and also I think in Armageddon or Deception whenever he does a certain move the image of uh, Shao Kahn's helmet appears over his head as he does the move so that's always been unexplained about Reiko so someone actually came up with some sort of fan theory saying that perhaps this new Shao Kahn is actually not the original Shao Kahn but actually Reiko who has returned and assumed the role of Shao Kahn um, because it almost seems as if uh, Reiko maybe in some way and I mean I'm not I'm not I'm not just you know guessing on this I mean it's canon that Reiko seems to have had some sort of obsession with perhaps possibly wanting to be Shao Kahn or take the place of Shao Kahn so that's kind of how uh, Netherrealm has kind of played his storyline in the past like there's been some strange connection that Reiko has with Shao Kahn and it never really fully got developed or manifested into the main storyline but it's still there for people who want to go back and look and I know Reiko still has his own storyline that played out played itself out in the comic book series but Netherrealm still kind of picks and chooses what they want to take from the comic book and bring into the the actual you know uh, video game uh, storylines. So 
anyways so i thought that was a very clever twist i mean that would be a very interesting twist to actually pick up a copy of mortal kombat 11 everyone's excited about playing shao khan as the pre-order bonus character and then we, when we actually get to the story mode we discover that reiko it, it has this is actually the one who has this incredible obsession with wanting to be Shao Kahn and literally you know manifest himself as the new Shao Kahn I mean that would be such a twist so anyways um and then like there's just one last theory that is barely worth mentioning honestly but there was a you know some people have been trying to bring uh, uh onaga back so they've been making references to um possibly uh you know shao khan and 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 the dragon king merging that's why shao khan has the dra dragon spikes on his arm so but i don't give much merit to them anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this leave comments below comment like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video